Once everyone's on board, you can grab the safety checklist in one of the lazarettes underneath the seat. Looks like this. This is going to help you with rigging, de-rigging the boat, and um, knowing what safety items to take a look at on the boat. When you get to the safety brief, you can talk to anybody who's not familiar with sailing, talk about some uh, safety issues that they might have to keep aware of. You can also go through the safety items on the N26 prior to departure. This will describe that there should be PFDs, which are life jackets. There should be a minimum of six on the boat. There should be a throwable cushion, which lo is located at the rear of the boat, at the stern. There should be a chartlet, which outlines the boundaries of the sailing area. That's on the back of the checklist. There should be a paddle in case there's low wind that you might have to make your own power. You want to check the anchor, make sure the anchor is attached to the anchor line and the anchor line is attached to the anchor and to the eye bolt in the anchor locker. Also down in the cabin there should be a bucket that can be used to bail out the boat if, there's a, if you're taking on a lot of water, but inside the bucket there should be a tow line. There should be a sponge to clean up the boat. And there should be three sail ties. The sail ties will be used to put a reef in if necessary. At the front of the cockpit is the winch handle. And at the stern of the boat, there's the bilge pump handle. Before you go out on the water, you want to make sure you pump the bilge. That removes any excess water from the bottom of the boat. There's also a first aid kit and an ice pack inside the lazarette. And you always want to make sure you have a cell phone or radio on board.